BLSP stock update. So we know very well that um, the company has been disclosing the financial report of its main subsidiaries, mostly the ones in uh, Europe, I believe. You know, you probably know all of those, you know, as I believe you are a member of the Facebook Lotus, Lotus Group. And I believe that group is open to pretty much um, the majority of the BLSP uh, army, I believe, you know. Even though I also know as well that it's mostly for those who have uh, um, made some transfer, or who have um, um, an evidence of their um, shareholder record, which is which can only be obtained by you know transferring some amount of your shares to BLSP's um, <coughs> agent, transfer agent, which is a clear trust. But in any case, yes, you know, and they, that this, some of those disclosures have been made, you know, it's uh, free if you succeed in uh, getting on um, the Lotus Group, you will be able to see those financials. And then um, people are anticipating and hoping that the, finan the, the uh, financial uh, disclosure of uh, the parent company itself, which is the one we know, uh, Blue Sphere or BLSP, Blue Sphere Corp, will be also disclose at some point you know and um, we, we, people have also gone beyond that uh, you know even speculating about what's going to happen when the CE tag will, will be removed and um, how it's going to be removed and all that stuff and how it's going to trade the, on the first day of trading you know on the, on the yeah the first day of trading when everything is uh, when all the what it's when he has gotten all the clear to you know begin no more trading and all that stuff you know there's uh, some are talking about um the outstanding shares the floats and all that stuff and who's going to initiate and all that stuff and some also talking about um, um the, the fact that uh, the folks in canada especially especially who have been uh, buying at the rock bottom prices you know that um, they stand to benefit handsomely which is you know, by all means, I mean, why not? You know, they're going to benefit, benefit handsomely. Why not? Yes, I mean, I don't think anybody, in, in, in any case, nobody is I mean, uh, unhappy about that. That this, this, these guys in Canada have held us, held, have, have, they've held us up, you know. So, by all means, they, they, if uh, it turns out for them good, you know, let, let them, you know, benefit from that, you know. You know um, so, yes, that's, that's where we are, you know, we are, you know expecting speculating and wishing and hoping you know uh, ray and um, all the other contributors uh you know now essentially saying that yes you know um in in, in effect maybe blsp wasn't as um, dodgy as we probably thought you know the, the dusty company that was doing its best to you know get out of a bad situation where um, you have um uh, very bad creditors who do all sort of things to um, you know get more than the lent lent to the company you know and all that stuff you know so amongst the many things that's been going on you know so but in any case to cut a long story short you know you can find all those two, all of those things on the Lotus group you know so what we can see here is that um, as of the 6th of September 6th of September was when, which day was that? Um, 6th of September, we have um, it was a Tuesday, it dropped to this low of $0.02, but on the next day, which was the 7th, it rose to 0 0.04, which was a 100% increase. And uh, at some point, as of the 12th, 12th was um, 12th was 12th was a Monday. It reached uh, 0 0.08 and it was remained there till the 13th. It remained there till the, even up to the 13th and then you know dropped. But it hasn't fallen below its uh, volume weighted average price on its daily chart, which is uh, 0 0.0. Let me get 0 0.0005 dollars. It hasn't fallen below that. And now at the close of this session, even yesterday, the 
yesterday the 22nd it reached 0 0.07 and I believe they remain there based on what this chart is saying remain there you know and then you can also see that um, you can clearly see that the 200 day moving average which to some extent you know underscores what the underlying trend is about move stocks is uh, sloping upwards you know um, Yes, and it has also yesterday crossed above that 200 day moving average, you know. So, the only way it's gonna, it can do that is uh, if buyers are buying, and be, I believe it's those who are in Canada that are doing so. So, uh, momentum is also it looks strong as well, not overbought, just at um, 71.43 on this daily chart. RSI is above 50 as well. And then, coming back to the chart, we can see that it's not clearly represented here, you know this chart is somewhat um, not exactly what it is like in the other one this static this static uh, chart obviously this is on uh, Charles Schwab you can see that uh, here, here Charles Schwab yeah it's not exactly that but at the same time also it, it uh, it's pretty it's it printed that uh, spike on the that's that spike above the spike on the which day was that let's get that date about 12th and the 13th it has it there but here it's not it's not indicating that it's above its 200 day moving average maybe maybe we can uh, let's 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 conclude that this is much more accurate but at the same time uh, down here the readout is saying something else the readout is actually referring to its its chart it's saying here BLSP appears to be improving within a longer term upwards trend okay yes that's what we that's uh, that's uh, agreed that is there's no dispute about that uh, trend it's it's an upward one so it appears to be improving within a longer term upward trend although it's presently below the signal line so this is where they diverge you know this chart is saying that it is below and we can clearly say THC here that it's above you know so so although it's presently below the 200 day moving average that average is rising due to prior gains in BSP shares additionally the MACD histogram which is used to measure the near term trend is above zero and BLSP is out of family S&P 500 you know yes things are really bad yes in, in the broader market but um, this is also a reminder as well this is uh, a reminder or an evidence that um, the indices even though they are they, they, we call in the broader market indicator especially S&P 500 but at the same time not everything is obviously obviously uh, represented there you know there are 500 stocks there but there are more than 16,000 st stocks and all of them all of them can be in the bearish mode no almost certainly not and we know that for sure you know so you know uh, in this last session alone we can see that the uh, S&P I'm deviating here but sorry about that you can see it's uh, close at 3693 but um in this totally not what is going on with other stocks you know broadly speaking and um, momentum is strongly bullish the 14 pito slow Sikasko skeleto is rising as investors pay higher prices for BLSP uh, shares the volume for today the 23rd of, of uh, September um, was 4.955 million shares which is in line with the 5.3 5 5.387 million shares uh, traded daily during the last 12 months the unbalanced volume indicators bullish the slope of indicators positive and suggest that buyers are presently more active than sellers okay could it be that um since the since the 7th of September market participants or rather the BSP uh, soldiers in uh, maybe Canada have uh, you know are getting ready to getting ready to um, you know um, make the most of uh, what the, what is available to them hoping that um, uh, the whole disclosure especially for the parent company which is Blue Spare, the one that is incorporated in the US is disclosed and ultimately the CE tag is removed and the trading restriction lifted and all that stuff so so if you ever wondered how what is what is going to be like, I think this is a fair idea of what it's going to, things are going to be like. So, you know, um, if the tag is moved, 
all of us will, I believe, well, let me, I mean, I'm speculating here, you know, more people, more, uh, tried, especially the majority who are in the US or who have uh, trading platforms, who, whose uh, access, whose access is through US uh, platforms, may want to buy more. I want to believe that. Indeed, indeed, some would just want to end the nightmare and um, take their money off the table and see what's going up, what's going to happen. But let's just believe, let's just assume that more will want to buy, you know, given that it has gone through all of that and um, go through all of that, all that suspension since uh, that was since 2019, I believe, or thereabout. And, you know, so they may want to buy more and given all of that, you know, um, what would it be? I want to believe that they would want to use, they would want to use um, a, let's look at the market depth here. There's nothing, oh, there is something there. They may want to use, oh, it's good we're looking at this as well. Is they may want to use market orders to get involved with what's going on. And uh, ultimately that will lead, if that if that is the case, it, you know people are using market orders to enter then it's going to lead to some aggression volatility and um, a liquidity squeeze as well you know because the price will continue to be forced up 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 on upwards you know so so see this is what what's this what's this is what has happened these are the prices at which the orders are entered and we can see um you can see a couple of them majority of them were at 0 0.0005 dollars you know, majority of them were at that this is just maybe in the last uh not, not just the last you can see over the from the from the beginning of the session this is total this is i, I want to believe this is the totality of what happened today you can see that 9 30 12 000 across the tape i want to believe that maybe these are buys this is a buy transaction this is a buy I want to believe that is the case, you know. These these ones at least up towards uh, this uh, twelve thirty three uh, p.m. You know, and maybe that probably was a, equally a buy. You know, I want to believe that majority of these transactions, you know, there are not a lot of them, but um, you know, they kept the stock up there, get that zero point zero 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 seven dollars. Somebody picked up uh, two million of them at uh, zero point zero zero five dollars. So that will be four. That will cost the person um, two hundred dollars. This is about two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, and this is about um, forty-four dollars. Okay, you can see how cheap these these uh, stocks are at the moment. You know. You know, by the time the market, the, the the restriction is lifted, you know, you will want to, you can see how much forty-four dollars will, will will fetch you only, forty-four dollars will fetch you around uh, four hundred four hundred forty-seven thousand, you know, fifty dollars will fetch you, no, sorry, not sorry, this is not forty-four dollars, this is about two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars will fetch you, it's getting expensive as well, two hundred dollars will fetch you, um. Four hundred forty-seven thousand, you know. So it's gradually getting more expensive, you know. Gradually getting more expensive. So yes, in any case, the totality, the totality, the total of all of these volumes, I want to believe is this four point nine five five million shares. So fingers crossed. Let's see what's. Let's hope and pray and hope that um, things are going to turn out very well. And also now, also remember, there's um, the energy crisis, especially in Europe as well, where uh, Blue Sphere currently has a uh, majority of its uh, currently operating operations, you know, so um, Could that be the reason why they just hastened up because you know, there is a need for energy in Europe and the winter is coming And the winter is coming. I can remember Blue, uh, uh, Reading somewhere from um, um, Ray that he was saying something about they they about Blue Sphere probably disclosing this coming month October you know, uh, yes, let's, let's just hope, let's see, fingers crossed, let's hope, you know, so see what you make of all of these things and continue to stay in tune with what's going on on the Dotus group and indeed um, the 
soon to be launched uh, disc uh, Discord uh, servers and all that stuff, you know. So, thank you very much for watching this video.